Hi everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I am bringing you a cook with me and the cook with me is going to be a crock pot recipe. And if you're like me, I love to bring my crock pot out in the fall because it just, it seems like it's just, it's soup season. It's stew. I mean, you start to think of all those comfort foods because you're, you're kind of nestled in at home. The, the, the weather's getting a little chillier and you're looking for some of those more hearty, hot type meals and, you know, to, to kind of go along with that, that fall weather. So today I'm bringing you my turkey taco soup recipe. I think I've done this one before, but I may have done it in Instant Pot versions. And I did it so long ago that I thought I would just go ahead and bring you another one so that you could have this one at your fingertips. If you haven't made it in a while, it's going to be a refresher for you. So what I thought I would do is I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw everything in the crock pot today. I'm also going to make a loaf of bread in my bread maker. And you guys know that I love my bread maker. I actually don't laugh, but I actually bought a second bread maker and put one in the camper because you come back in the camper after playing all day and you get that fresh baked bread. And most of the times we're barbecuing out there and having a loaf of fresh baked bread along with that barbecue just is amazing. So I, I try not to eat a lot of it, but again, you know, it's portion control and you can enjoy things in smaller portions. All right, so that's a big enough intro. Um, don't forget, give me a thumbs up if you like today's video. Leave me some comments below because you know I love interacting with you. And let's turn you around and show you what I'm throwing into the crock pot for ingredients today. For our ingredients today, we're going to use one package of 99% fat-free turkey. Um, this one I did pull out of the freezer, so don't worry about the, the date. Um, it, it's been in the freezer. I just took it out yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and brown that up. And a trick that I use with this, I am probably not going to show that today. A trick that I use with this is I just put some water in the pan when I'm, when I'm browning this up. And it keeps it moist because a lot of the times when you're cooking that lean of a meat, it gets really dry and you are looking for ways to be able to... Um, not me, just make it not so dry. We're also going to need a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. This one is petite diced tomatoes. It's the one I have and I'm trying to use up some of my canned foods. One medium to large onion diced. I'm gonna go ahead and dice that up. We're going to need four cans of great northern beans and you could buy them in the larger ones. You can make these from dry, but again, I wanted to keep this recipe super quick and simple today, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the canned. We're also going to require two cans of corn. You could use two cups of frozen corn if you wanted, but I just thought I would just go ahead and throw the entire can of corn in there, juice and all. So we'll talk about that when I do it. We're gonna also need two spices, taco seasoning and ranch. And I'll put all the measurements below in the comments so that you can go ahead and follow this recipe. And frankly, I can't remember how much I need of this, so I'll look it up myself before we start adding everything to the crock pot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this ground turkey in a pan. And then once I get all this stuff in the crock pot, I'll come back and I'll show you really quickly how I make that bread. I do have a recipe and I'll try to remember to link that below for my bread in the bread maker and that way you can make it for yourself. I think it's like five ingredients, super easy and so, so good. All right, so let me get that done and we'll come back. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some cooking spray and we're gonna spray the inside of our crock pot. And that's just gonna make it easier to clean up later. And if you're not doing this, try it because trust me, you will thank yourself later. Okay, we're gonna dump in that one pound of cooked, ground, 99% fat-free ground turkey. We're gonna dump in one large diced onion. And then we're gonna start dumping in our cans. So I have one can, a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. We're just gonna dump that right in. I have two cans of corn two cans of corn. I drained one and left the juice in the other one. Just dump those right in. 
The next thing we're going to add is our beans. I drained a little bit of the juice off the beans. I did not rinse them, so I just drained some of the juice off. And we're just going to add that straight into our crock pot here. Four cans of those. And yes, this is going to make a ton of soup. Um, I'll try to remember to put the to put the servings in here as well. So the recipe calls for one package of ranch seasoning and one package of taco seasoning. So that is approximately three tablespoons of this one. And I'm gonna say one tablespoon of this one. So we're gonna go ahead and get that measured out. Gonna do three tablespoons of this. And then one tablespoon of the ranch. Okay. And this soup on purple and on blue, if you use the 99% fat-free ground turkey, is going to be zero points because the beans, the veggies, everything else in here is zero points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on high for four to five hours and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our bread in and then we're just going to let it cook all day and make our house smell super delicious so i'm going to get this cleaned up and then i'll get my bread maker moved over and then we're going to put that together and then the next thing that you're going to see is when i come back after four or five hours when this is done again this is a great soup it's great to take um to potlucks it's also great to freeze so you can make a big batch. Now, if you want to half this, feel free to go ahead and half this. But again, I'm planning on taking this camping this weekend. So it's going to be a winner when I get it there and everybody's got something warm to come back to. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get this made and we're going to have that for dinner. We're actually going to have it for dinner today as well. Blah, 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 blah. I know that's a lot of talking. All right, I'm going to come back. See you in a minute. I almost forgot one ingredient. We need one cup of water. So I'm gonna throw that in there. <laughs> I was wondering why it looks so thick and um, that I look reread my ingredients. So if you want a recap of those ingredients, which I should do for you right now, that is 48 ounces of great northern beans, one pound of ground turkey, two cups of frozen corn, 28 ounces of diced tomatoes, one onion, one package of taco seasoning, one package of ranch dip, and one cup of water. All right, so I have you looking in my bread maker. This is gonna go super quick, so be ready. We have one cup of warm water. It's supposed to be a certain temperature, but I really never had any problems. I just make sure it's a little bit warm to the touch. We're going to need three tablespoons of oil. I'm using olive oil today. Three tablespoons of that. And I've been making this bread and recipe for so long and it's just, it's, it's, it's tried and true and it always turns out perfect. And when you find one that's like that, you just want to keep going with it. Three tablespoons of sugar. I'm just going to dump that right in. Plus one and a half teaspoons of salt. We're going to do three cups of all purpose flour. There's one, two, and three. The last ingredient we're gonna put in is two and one quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. And you can also buy this in the package at the store, so it comes like a three pack for 99 cents but I use so much of it, I just buy it in a large Costco portion. So two and a quarter, throw that right in there. That works really well. I'm gonna shut the top. I'm gonna plug it in, that's probably important. 
and then we are we would do menu but it's already at two pounds you can see the little maybe you can see it here so it's a two pound loaf we like this one to be medium um, my other bread maker I always have to put on dark this one seems to work fine on medium and then that's the only two things that I have to change it's already on the basic white loaf so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the button and then it starts to stir our ingredients and it mixes them all up and then it goes through a rise cycle and then it does a bake cycle and it does it all on its own so I don't have to mess with anything so I'm gonna let this do its thing it'll be done in about three hours and ten minutes and then our soup will be done shortly after that and that's it dinner is well you know dinner will be done so I've got all the hard work out of the way so I'll come back I'll show you what that soup looks like and then we will wrap up today's video all right, our dinner is done. My bread seemed to seems to have fallen a little bit. I'm not sure if it's the olive oil that I use. It's the first time I've ever used olive oil in it, but it's nice and crunchy on the side, so I think it's going to taste fine. It just looks a little weird today. And for our soup, look at this. Let's see if I get oh, a little steamy there. Sorry, I was trying to set that down without burning myself. I'm grab a spoon and I'm gonna give that a quick stir. Look at that. My house smells absolutely amazing. Now at this point, I will taste it, see if it needs any salt and pepper. Nine times out of 10, it does not. Oh, it's really steamy. And that's it, folks. I'm just going to go ahead, give it a quick little taste test, and then I'm going to let it cool down. I'm going to package it. We're going to have it for dinner. And I think that's it. All right, so I'm going to wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next video.